Hey folks, welcome back to the Declarative Academy where we turn Salesforce into simple step-by-step -step wins. If you're new here, I'm your guide for today's lesson on installing App Exchange packages. By the end, you'll be able to explain the differences between managed and unmanaged packages, ask the right questions before installing, and install a package into your org with confidence. We'll walk through the full process in a friendly, practical way and finish with a hands-on challenge you can do right now. Let's dive in. You've found a solution that perfectly fits your needs. Brilliant. Before you click anything, it helps to understand how App Exchange solutions are packaged and what that means for your org, your users, and future upgrades. Managed versus unmanaged packages. What's the real difference? Think of a package like a toolbox filled with apps, tabs, objects, and metadata. There are two main types, and each has its own purpose. Managed packages. You can't tweak the internals. The provider's code and metadata are locked down. Updates come to you. The provider can push new versions, so you stay up to date without lifting a finger. No impact on your limits. They don't count against your org's app, tab, or object quotas. Best for ready-to-go solutions you don't need to customize. Unmanaged packages. Everything's open. You can see and change the code or metadata as much as you like. Upgrades are manual. Updating usually means uninstalling and reinstalling a fresh version. They do count against your limits, so keep that in mind. Best for experimenting, learning, or building something custom. Bottom line, go managed if you want a polished hands-off experience. Go unmanaged if you want to get under the hood and make it your own. Before you install anything, pause and ask, am I installing in the right organization? Always test in a sandbox or developer edition slash trailhead playground first. Never straight into production. Have I reviewed the documentation? On the listings overview tab, you'll often find install guides, configuration steps, and troubleshooting notes. Who needs access on day one? During install, you'll choose admins only, all users, or specific profiles. If unsure, pick admins only. You can open access later. You'll need your playground username and password to install. Here's the quick path. Open your Trailhead Playground. Scroll to the bottom of the Trailhead unit and click Launch. If you see Get Your Login Credentials, click it and note your username. Click Reset. My Password and follow the email link to set a new password. No Get Your Login Credentials tab. From the app launcher, open Playground Starter and follow the prompts. If it's missing, check the Trailhead help article. Find the username and password for your Trailhead Playground. To install from App Exchange, link your org to your Trailblazer identity. Open your Trailblazer settings. Click Connect an account. Choose Salesforce. Enter your Playground username and password. Then log in. Click Allow to confirm the connection. You can disconnect later if you like. Pro tip, you can connect production, DE orgs, and playgrounds to Trailblazer. Handy if you work across multiple environments. When you click Get It Now on a listing, the App Exchange account picker shows your connected Salesforce orgs where you have install permissions. Use the arrows to select the correct org. If you don't see the org, make sure it's connected to Trailblazer and that you have the manage billing slash install permissions. If you're not the admin for production, check with your Salesforce admin before installing there. Let's install a real solution into your Trailhead Playground, perfect for testing and the hands-on challenge. Before you start, let's confirm a few things. Org, use your Trailhead Playground or a DE org. Documentation, on the listings overview tab, there's a data sheet recommending the standard install procedure. Access. We'll choose install for admins only to keep it safe. Let's install an app. On App Exchange, open the Salesforce Adoption Dashboards listing. Click Get It Now. In Connected Salesforce Accounts, choose your Playground username, then click Install in Production. Yes, Playgrounds are hosted on production pods. You're still installing into your safe Playground. 
On the confirmation screen, double check the username to ensure it's your playground. Tick I have read and agree to the terms and conditions and click confirm and install. Log in with your playground credentials if prompted. Select install for admins only. Click install and wait. Click done to land on installed packages in setup. Nice, package installed. Time to prove the value in minutes. From the app launcher, search dashboards and open it. Click all folders. Salesforce adoption dashboards. Open one. User adoption. Logins. You'll see pre-built components like top and bottom login users who's logging in most least, total logins and logins by role, char region. Even with sample data, you can validate that it hits your core requirement, user adoption visibility, without building anything from scratch. Key takeaways, managed versus unmanaged. Pick managed for upgrade ease and no hit to org limits. Pick unmanaged if you want to customize deeply. Pre-install discipline. Write org, read docs, plan access. Install smart. Use the account picker carefully. Start with admins only. Prove value fast. Open the dashboards and show stakeholders quick wins. Especially helpful for adoption conversations with managers. Hands-on challenge. Install Salesforce adoption dashboards. Here's what you need to do. Connect your Trailhead Playground to your Trailblazer profile. Install the Salesforce Adoption Dashboards package in your Playground. If you've been following along, go ahead and click Check Challenge to earn your points and complete this module. And that's it. You've learned how packages work, how to prepare your org, and how to install a real app exchange solution end-to-end. -end. Next stop. Using these dashboards to drive 100% adoption at Ursa Major or in your own org. If this walkthrough helped, give it a like. Subscribe to the Declarative Academy for more Salesforce deep dives and drop a comment with your favorite app exchange find or a package you want us to demo next. Thanks for watching. Keep learning, keep building, and keep making Salesforce work for you. See you in the next one.